Good morning. My name is Mark Pellman, representing VTD, a part of the powertrain division of Teneco, Inc. This paper will highlight the development of a new generation tetrahedral amorphous carbon coating for piston rings called Duroglide. Tetrahedral amorphous carbon is setting new standards in high performance, low friction piston ring technology. Duroglide coated piston rings demonstrate outstanding durability, friction and scuff resistance compared to other coatings. They contribute in combination with advanced top and oil ring designs, fuel economy savings up to 1.2% for commercial vehicle engines. In the US, commercial vehicles collectively represent only 7% of vehicles on the road, but account for over 25% of the fuel used to travel those roads. Consequently, federally mandated fuel and emissions regulations are focused on commercial vehicles as a critical element in the strategy to improve air quality and energy independence. Commercial vehicle engine manufacturers are looking for ways to improve fuel efficiency while maintaining engine durability. The introduction of more robust engine components and materials has become critical. Piston ring packs contribute 25% of the engine friction losses and account for 4 to 5% of the fuel consumption. To achieve EPA standards for fuel consumption and emissions, medium duty and heavy duty engine manufacturers have implemented engine cycle strategies that require higher combustion pressures, low viscosity oils, exhaust gas recirculation, and other non-conventional combustion modes. Many of these changes affect the tribological mode of the upper compression ring. In addition, alternate fuels used in medium duty and heavy duty engines have created new challenges for upper compression rings. For example, natural gas fuel with an inherently poor lubricity induces tribological scenarios that many ring materials have difficulty supporting. Upper compression ring materials must be able to survive under borderline mixed lubrication conditions without wearing significantly and without scuffing. The ideal coating to address higher piston ring requirements would be one which is robust, having a very low wear rate and no potential to scuff. This material would ideally have an extremely low friction coefficient under mixed lubrication conditions. Tetrahedral amorphous carbon coating meets these requirements. Federal Mogul Powertrain, now a part of Teneco, has developed a tetrahedral amorphous carbon coating named Duroglide that is widely used on piston rings for heavy duty and medium duty diesel engines. In 2015, Automotive News recognized this accomplishment with the PACE Award for product innovation. The Duroglide coating is deposited via a laser initiated arc process that was developed at Fraunhofer IWS in Dresden, Germany. The laser arc module that creates the plasma was subsequently improved and manufactured at VTD GmbH, a unit of Teneco. Tetrahedral amorphous carbon, or TAC, is often confused with other carbon coatings, especially so-called diamond-like carbon, or DLC. Duraglide tetrahedral amorphous carbon is 100% carbon with 50 to 80% sp3 bonds. DLC for comparison, is predominantly sp2 bonded carbon, better known as graphite, and contains hydrogen and or metal within its structure. Due to a high percentage of sp3 bonded carbon, tetrahedral amorphous carbon is harder than DLC coatings and other hard coatings like titanium nitride, chromium nitride, titanium aluminum nitride, and titanium carbonitride. The Duraglide coating was developed in a Driva 600 LAM coating system manufactured by VTD. This coater was equipped with both arc sources and magnetrons for depositing a metal interlayer and a laser arc module for depositing the TAC. Surface conditioning prior to coating was accomplished via a hollow cathode plasma source. The laser arc module is illustrated here. It consists of two rotating carbon cylinders, pulsed laser, 
and synchronized power supplies. A pulse laser is used to initiate arc evaporation as it scans vertically along the carbon cathodes. This results in a linear source of carbon plasma, as shown on the left. Because of its linear nature, the carbon plasma can be easily scaled up by extending the length of the carbon cathodes. This proved to be essential in scaling up the process for mass production of duraglide coated piston rings. A plasma filter can be installed with the laser arc module to eliminate macroparticles on components that require smooth as deposited tetrahedral amorphous carbon. Particles ejected from the arc spot are captured by an absorber electrode while the plasma is bent by its magnetic field towards the substrates. Since the duraglide coated piston rings are honed after coating, a filter is not used for this application. The friction coefficient of piston ring coatings was measured in an oscillating rig test. The rings were run against iron cylinders under lubricated conditions. The test conditions are summarized on this slide. Piston ring coating types can be ranked according to friction measured in this oscillating rig test. The results indicate that hydrogenated DLC coatings and tetrahedral amorphous carbon offer the highest potential to reduce friction losses compared to PVD chromium nitride and particle enhanced chromium coatings. DLC coatings inherently have a very low friction coefficient and therefore reduce friction losses within the mixed lubrication regime. Since DLCs are composed predominantly of carbon, the propensity to scuff is extremely low. However, the thickness of DLC coatings is limited to only a few microns, thus limiting their application in wear-stressed components like piston rings for commercial vehicles. To overcome these limitations, Federal Mogul Powertrain optimized the Duraglide coating with hardness in the range of 2,000 to 5,000 Vickers and thickness up to 25 microns. The structure of the coating, illustrated on the right, consists of a thin adhesion layer followed by tetrahedral amorphous carbon, which is honed to a high finish. This slide shows examples of TAC coated top compression rings and oil rings. The photomicrographs of the cross section show the hydrogen free amorphous structure of the tetrahedral amorphous carbon. The lack of hydrogen ensures a high temperature resistance up to 500 degrees C. This is essential to the performance of piston rings. As shown, the coating thickness is greater than 20 microns after polishing the peripheral running ring surface. The capability to apply much higher coating thickness is permitted by reducing internal stresses in the coating. This results in excellent adhesion of the piston ring surfaces. This adhesion is equally good if the base material is steel or even cast iron. Engine durability tests were conducted in highly loaded turbocharged light vehicle diesel engines. Significantly lower radial ring wear of top compression rings coated with tetrahedral amorphous carbon was observed. Following these successful tests in the light vehicle engines, a commercial vehicle engine test was conducted over a typical truck driving load cycle under full load conditions. This endurance test was run over 620 hours in an 11 liter EU6 truck engine to investigate the friction behavior of tetrahedral amorphous carbon coated oil rings in addition to functionality and durability. Very good functionality was documented by low oil consumption of less than 15 grams per hour and low blow by. At the conclusion of the engine test, it was noted that approximately 1.2% fuel consumption reduction is achievable, while oil consumption actually dropped. 
A second commercial engine test was performed in order to validate the durability of TAC-coated top compression and oil rings. The engine test was carried out using a special thermal cycle test under full load conditions in a six-cylinder 12.8 liter turbocharged EU6 truck engine. The engine ran 1,080 hours, so reliable test results for the TAC-coated top compression and oil ring could be obtained. Complementing the piston pack, the engine was equipped with fine plateau-honed gray cast iron liners. Blow-by and oil consumption remained at a low level throughout the test. The gap end periphery of the TAC coated top compression ring and the oil rings of each cylinder are shown here after the complete test. This critical area at the top ring gap end has not exhibited full face wear. Both top compression and oil rings exhibited a very consistent and small witness line after this long running test. The results confirm the excellent wear resistance of TAC. Wear measurements on the periphery surface of the oil ring lands also show extremely low wear. The low peripheral face wear on both top ring and oil rings fulfills the heavy duty lifetime requirements. The wear rate as shown here after run-in was 0.5 microns per thousand hours and 0.8 microns per thousand hours for the top ring and the oil ring respectively. Many engine developers have proposed the idea of utilizing lower viscosity oils in order to approach the mandatory CO2 and fuel efficiency targets for commercial engines. Chrome plated and chrome nitride coated rings have an increased scuffing risk when using such lower viscosity oils. Brig tests were carried out simulating extremely poor lubrication conditions with a high temperature, high shear rate oil under maximum load. In previous tests under the same conditions with several PVD coated top compression rings, signs of overloading of the ring periphery in combination with scuffing marks and cylinder scratching were observed. In the engine test with tetrahedral amorphous carbon coated rings, no scratches or scuffing marks could be found and the cylinder wear was extremely low. In conclusion, based on the rig test and heavy duty engine test results, the outstanding characteristics of the Duraglide tetrahedral amorphous carbon coating have been demonstrated. When compared to any electroplated or PVD materials available, Duraglide demonstrates the best solution for reduced friction and system wear reduction and superior resistance to scuffing. The ability to deposit a single coating layer in excess of 20 microns in production ensures that these desirable characteristics will remain until the engine has been retired or rebuilt. Duraglide's enabling characteristics allow the commercial vehicle industry to close the gap between future fuel emission standards and engine performance. Thank you for your attention. The contact information for myself and my co-authors is listed on this slide. I'm now available to take questions.